This sure is neato. What makes all this work? Just as any physics student, Billy, and they'll tell you that the roller coaster operates on the principle of conservation of mechanical energy. Conservation of energy? That sounds complicated. It's really quite simple. You see, we can take the state of any system and express it in terms of its kinetic and potential energy. The sum of these two quantities doesn't change. I was right! It is complicated! No, no, no. The law of conservation of energy says energy can neither be created nor destroyed. Pretty spiffy, huh? Does this mean I can figure out how fast it's going? That's right, Billy. Since the total was 10 units of energy, halfway down, 5 will be kinetic and 5 will be potential energy. A physics student could calculate the velocity at that point with KE equals 1 half mv squared. That's pretty slick. Who thought all this up? Swell guys like Galileo Galilei, Isaac Newton, and Johannes Kepler. If we know this now, I wonder how much there is left for us to learn. Atomic disintegrator guns, atomic flying machines on my back, atomic rockets to the moon, atomic pills to run our cars for years at a time. Hold on, Billy. You've been reading too many comics. 